Hi, I'm David and I'll be guiding you through PIP objects and how they can be used. PowerDirector 7 provides a wide selection of PIP objects. There are more available online from the Director Zone. PIP objects can be used to create a slideshow. 14 images have been placed in the video track. All images have been altered to display in 16.9. PIP objects library have overlays designed to enhance a video or image. Here's an example. Select the PIP objects button and we'll use some of the objects in our next example. We've dragged the uh, three wigs down into the uh, PIP objects timeline and we've also dragged down two of the sunglasses. We've uh, added a few titles, we put a obscure little image in there and uh, we've had a little result. Reposition and resizing is easy, just place the, your cursor on the corner and slide it in or out to make the object larger or smaller to reposition, move the cursor to the center, move it along, move it back. All very easy. Hold your uh, mouse um, left button down and then click and drag. Click the modify button and we can uh, alter and change the uh, object in, in the PIP designer. We can display only one of the selected pip tracks, so we eliminate the others and only display the one. Let's now play through that clip to see what it looks like. Change to movie mode, press play. Cooey girls! So we've added some titles as well. And a boring scene with three cows looking over a fence, no change to something quite different. Create your own uh, PIP object by clicking on the Create button. Brings up uh, the working window so you can find your image. Click on your image, click Open, and your image is placed in a blank panel. All very straightforward. Use chroma key perhaps to uh, remove the white background, move the intensity level, just move this to one side slightly, you can see the, the changes we've made and we've removed the uh, white background so we're left with a, a figure we possibly could use in a, a scene at some, time, at some stage. All that needs to be done then is to save the template, click OK and we're done. That template has now been saved in our custom PIP objects. Image tracking and overlay is one of those fun capabilities in PIP objects. Some can be easy, while others quite hard. In another Aquarium MPEG uh, clip, we have a fish that's darting around and going off the screen. Let's quickly play through that. And you'll see this particular fish move along forward then suddenly go up in the air and we're going to put a top hat on that one the top hat has been dragged down into the uh, PIP track it can be reduced down in size to a suitable size PIP designer displays click on the add edit motion tab select and manipulate the motion path reposition Add a keyframe and alter the motion path with every movement come change of position. You have to watch, move, change and add a keyframe, all at the right point. 
until eventually the motion path and keyframes are suitably aligned. Add as many keyframes as you need. Manipulate, move, add more keyframes. Test out, move the slider along, check where the position of the fish is. Add another keyframe. Move the keyframe in the motion path. Move the slider again. Keep on until you think you've got it right. Finally check out everything, see if you have got it right. Don't be afraid to go back, correct something, then play it through and look at the results. Using PIP objects, try them out today. <laughs>